Hey everybody, Doc Mackey here, and that is the sphere, which means that I'm in Vegas. Why am I in Vegas? Well, tomorrow morning, EMS World 2024 kicks off, and this place is gonna be mayhem. So why am I shooting this intro here? Well, I'm bringing a brand new video series to you called The Why. As a medical director, if there's any question I ever get asked, it always starts with the same word, why? Hey doc, why are we fill in the blank? Changing medications, changing protocols, adding new things, taking things away. Why are we transporting patients? Why don't we transport patients? There's a lot of good questions out there that come to me that start with the word why. So in these short, short segments, I'm gonna try to answer questions that come to me that start with why. This is the first series, so let's see how it goes. Thanks for joining me. everybody, Kevin Mackey, Medical Director of Sacramento Fire Department coming at you today. But hey, I have a special guest I want to introduce to you, Dr. Brianna Beaver. She's our EMS Fellow this year from UC Davis. So Brianna, welcome to Sacramento Fire. Introduce yourself to the gang. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Hey everyone, I'm Brianna. I was born and raised in Redding, California, not too far away from here. I have gone to school all throughout the state of California. I went to medical school and then most recently did residency at UC Davis. I finished in June of this year and I've stayed on for EMS fellowship and I'm here with you guys for the whole year. Some of you I've met and some of you I haven't yet. So many of you know that in the hemorrhage policy the county just changed to two grams slow IV push and I'm getting a lot of questions. We are getting a lot of questions both in the department and at the emergency department about why? Like where did that come from? We've done one gram over 30 uh, over over 10 minutes for quite a while and so why was it changed? And so I thought today we would bring you some of the answers to the why. So let's just start with the background of TXA. So Brianna's done a lot of the research on this already, so she's gonna do most of the talking and I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> but so, so TXA, TXA kind of came to us through a couple of big studies, right? Can you just give us a little like summary of kind of what you found? Yeah, absolutely. So as many of you probably know already, TXA has been instrumental in the past like 15 to 20 years with regards to hemorrhage and bleeding. So in several studies, including CRASH-2 and CRASH-3, they have shown that by giving TXA, you actually have mortality benefit, meaning that more people uh, stay alive and make it out of the hospital in a hemorrhagic situation when TXA is used. And so that has been extrapolated into the pre-hospital system, which is why pre-hospital providers started using it. Right, that's, that's a great summary. So we have military trials, which was MATTERS. We also have civilian trials, which is the CRASH studies. Yep. And CRASH has one, two, and three, like you mentioned. Yep. And some of them are about traumatic brain injury, which is kind of CRASH three. CRASH one was like the civilian hemorrhagic shock study. So we knew that there was a benefit to TXA, but there's always been a question about like risk, yeah. right? And so if we're gonna talk about risk of giving TXA, what are some of the things that that I think folks are concerned about, especially the trauma surgeons, the medical community, the firefighters, like what are we concerned about with TXA and the complications? Yeah, absolutely. So TXA obviously is used to stop bleeding, but with that, um, it can create clots. And so some of the earlier studies and some of the earlier concerns with regards to risk were actually about developing clots that you didn't necessarily want. So that would be, you know, DVTs or other clotting events. And in addition to that, when they did early studies, they looked at different dosing patterns and there was some studies that show that 
the faster you push TXA, there were also incidences of hypotension. So was the hypotension because of the TXA or was it because this person was in a hemorrhagic shock event? Um, and so some of those risks that Dr. Mackey's talking about are the hypotension, DVTs, and other bleeding events. And so those are some of the things that when they were doing the crash one, two, and three, as well as other TXA studies, they probably used a lower dose, lower dose being the one gram um, due to those, you know, perceived risks or concern for perceived risks. Okay. Yeah, so safety profile first, finding out that one gram works, but then this idea starts coming out and we see a recent paper, well not so recent actually, it's a couple of years ago yeah. now I think, that came out of TCCC. Yep. So TCCC is the uh, is the basic training for military uh, uh, and they have started to escalate their doses to two grams. Uh, and in the TCCC guidelines, you'll start to see the talk about two grams and so, is it safe to go to two grams? Have they looked at that? Are, are we thinking that there will be more problems because we're going to a higher dose? Have they looked at that? They have. So there's actually been over the past about four to five years, there's been several studies, including randomized control trials that sh looked at two grams versus one gram followed by an infusion, which has kind of always been the standard. And they have shown that between those two doses, there's no mortality benefit in giving the two grams, meaning that amongst the two by giving TXA you're not you know having a higher mortality risk with a higher dose but they are showing that the sooner you give it and kind of over a shorter period of time so that two grams IV push you are actually there was one study that showed you're getting a decrease in the adverse outcomes such as DVTs like we talked about earlier and then in TBI patients they talk a little bit about cerebral vasospasm so yes I think that based off of the studies that there are now right research is always advancing based off the studies we have now two grams IV push over about a minute is totally safe all right so the county's made a change we've gone to two grams we've seen that they've looked at the safety profile it seems to be safer some of the questions I get from the from the field are you know before I could just set up a drip and I could just let it run yeah right and now we're not doing that our hands are kind of tied up right but the other advantages to having the two grams in is the fact that I think you free up an IV line yeah right to be giving medications or blood down the down the down the road uh, and um, so it sounds Sounds like it's safe uh, and it looks like they're looking at at least the TCCC group is looking at it more in head injury as well, traumatic brain injury. Uh, so I, I, think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay to proceed. It is definitely a change. So just to remind you, this is two grams, which is going to be two full vials. TXA only comes in one strength and one vial. So you're going to be giving 20 cc's. And how long should they give that over? Like, did they look at that too? They did. So there has been a couple of different studies not on humans but other research studies that have shown you know TXA push over one minute over five minutes and they have deemed no difference and so doing that two gram IV push over about a minute is gonna be a totally safe and appropriate amount of time and honestly I mean you know it's hard to say but by the time you spike a bag hook it up you know you're probably done with that IV push around the same time and then you have a free IV line you're ready to go you have more hands you don't have to worry what that drips doing there you have it. We're trading off the time to set up the IV. In the time we're gonna be doing that, we'll be given the push and it'll be a wash. We'll be at about the same amount of time. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks. It was great to meet you. Yes. Great to introduce you to yes. the crowd. And yeah. uh, hey, be sure to send any questions on over our way. I will drop our email at the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the video here. And uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Cool. Sweet. Awesome.